Hello everyone, welcome to this course. So, what are we going to discuss here? Um, here we are going to discuss about uh, three common things. The first thing is Python and second thing is CSV and third one is Oracle Database. So, we are combined all together into a sim single program. So, basically what I need is I have a CSV file, okay, and I need to retrieve the data from the CSV file and I do have a table which which will store the students information so basically I need to pull the information from the CSV and stored into the Oracle table so which programming we are going to use that is where the Python comes into the place okay let me tell you before that the first thing what are the things which we need first thing Python Python should be installed in your machine. These things are prerequisite. And then Oracle database. And third, CSV file. Either you can use MS Office CSV or you can use um, a Google Docs CSV or Linux Office CSV. You can use anything. Okay. So in the CSV file, I have a few columns and it contains some data as well so my goal is I'm going to read the data from the Excel sheet that is the first priority okay so what else needed do you need Python and I think we need Python Oracle and CSV do you think is there anything else which we need yes because Python is a programming language and Oracle is a relational database language so how these two are going to communicate we need an intermediate, which is nothing but a kind of broker stuff. Okay, so who is that broker stuff? So Python wants to communicate to the Oracle. So we need supported libraries from the Python. So Oracle provided a Python support library, which is nothing but CX underscore Oracle. So we are going to use this library. Okay. And under Oracle, we have, a, for example, we'll have a student's table. I have a student's table which will contain registration number and first name and last name and CSV file. So these are the prerequisite which you need before you start the programming itself. So before we writing the program directly, we need to set the environment first. So open a command prompt and make sure we'll have the um, Python install. So type Python iPhone version. Okay, need to provide double S. See Python 3.7 is installed in my local machine. So I need a Oracle support client to communicate to the Oracle database. If you are using MySQL, you don't have to download anything because when you install Python itself, we have the supportivity to the MySQL database or else you can go to the command prompt and you can install, use the pip command, you can install it from the online. So let open the browser. The first thing we need, we need a Oracle client support. So Oracle or Python Oracle client download for for Windows and you can use the first link go to the oracle page and here you'll have link to oracle instant client zip files so here we need to go for 64 bit here and it will take us to the oracle site and here just accept the license agreement and just read out all those things because this one is for linux and the second one is for windows so make sure download the appropriate 
one which we needed. This is also not for Windows. This is for RPM and this also for Linux. We need to download this one, Oracle Insta Client. So let's install, uh, download this one. Oh my God, my bad. I click the wrong link. Go back. These are uh, I need a zip file. Just accept and download. I don't find any Windows. Here. Just search for Windows here. So where I can download that. I think this is enough. Uh, this is also for Linux. Let me try to find is there anything for Windows. Okay, this page is for instant client download for Linux 64 bit. Linux basically. I need it in client download for Windows 64 bit. Go here and Accept. See, instant client basic light for Windows. It's a zip file. Just click and download the package. If you see here, I already downloaded the same package. So you don't have to download it again. For you, you need to download it first. So let me show you what is there in the zip file. Extract it here. Basically, it will contain all the support jar files. If you see Oracle JDBC and some DLL file and other jar files. Okay, so I just kept it in a desktop. Okay, I have it in my software folder as well. You see here. Python or clean stuck line. See here. So the same thing. I have the JDBC jar files. So what I need to do is before you need to uh, run the program or start developing the program, this particular part should be there in, in your system environment variable. So if you are not setting these things into your environment variable, it won't be able to communicate with the Oracle database. Okay. Just copy the path and go to my computer properties and advanced system and NV details and click the path and here you need to add this let me copy this and show you what is there hey. here see in my e-drive I have the insta client so I already set it into my NV variable Okay, let's close this. We don't need to save that. Okay, so we have things ready in with our hand. So Python is installed in my machine. I have a 3.7 version and I have the CS Oracle client as well. And it is also added into the NV variable. Next thing, the database. I need a table which holds which will hold the student information. So let's create a table, just open connect your database if you have if you're familiar with the SQL you can directly write the query or simple thing just open database and right click your table and new table and here just provide a table um, other table name so in this case students and the first column is registration underscore number and it's a int and it's an ordinal because it's a primary key and I need to add another column so which is nothing but first underscore name and which is that let me put it to 200 
add one more column and which will indicates last underscore name and click OK your object is already within this name OK just click and cancel select star from STD students okay I have the table all existing in my database and it, it has the three columns registration number if you want to see detailed description students so it has a registration number and first name and last name so this is a table which are going to use to, to in, insert the data or exporting the data and importing it in this table okay so what else we need so Python is ready Oracle is ready the students database table also ready so what you can do is just open a Excel file Microsoft Excel and registration underscore number and first underscore name and last underscore name so let's save this I have I have my script in desktop folder where Python Python Oracle and here I'm going to save this as a feed dot CSV so let me add some registration numbers here or thousand one and first name is Arun and uh, last name is AMC in thousand one double zero two and uh, John or job Daniel and Dennis John okay let's save it and close so we have Python ready in our place and client is available and the database is available and also the CSV file available so what is the next thing so we are going to start writing a program to export and import the data okay let's see each other in the next video